want to give you guys some advice. Some things I learned over the past decade or so that I'm now reading about but didn't understand at the time. And I believe this advice could help you. There are two types of people in this world. We have spectators. We have players. And I don't mean player in the sense of you know, men who go out and get a lot of women. I mean players who go in and play the game. Take the risk. Fight the fight. And earn the rewards from that fight. And then we have spectators. People who watch the players fight the fight. And admire them from afar. But also criticize them. These people you want to avoid at all costs. If you are a player or a doer, you don't want to hang around spectators, people who watch, people who sit on the sidelines and wish that they too could have the courage and the balls to do what you do. These people will hold you back. I'll give you a a little bit of a, a rundown of my story, you know. I was 22 years old, working a typical post-college cubicle job, eight hours a day doing nothing, meaningless, purposeless, around a bunch of people who were also purposeless, had no meaning to their life, bored out of their minds, and I would watch the managers, these dorks, 60 years old, walk around with their coffee mug and crack safe for work jokes just to ease the pain that their life had turned into a boring, horrible waste of time. And right there I made the decision, that ain't gonna be me. I'm not waiting till I'm 60 years old to make six figures. I'm not spending 40 years in a cube farm looking for any shred of entertainment. So you know what I did? I walked out. I didn't even tell anybody. I packed my shit. I walked out and I never looked back. And people told me, well, that's going to hurt on your resume. That's going to hurt you getting another job. My response was, good, I don't want another job. I don't want to use a resume. I'm gonna create my own path, my own business. So shortly after doing this, I decided I wanted to teach, instruct, and develop a business around science-based exercise, which I was doing at the time. I thought becoming a fitness model would help me promote my brand and promote my methods. So I started on that path. And of course, like a fool, I told people what I was trying to do. I told the spectators what I was trying to do. And what'd they do? Ridiculed, criticized, made fun of because deep down they were threatened. They knew that I had what it takes to become that. When I heard the opposition, what did I do? I said, fuck them. I didn't care. I decided what I wanted to do and I went ahead and did it. Who's laughing now? You're going to encounter people in this life when you set out to do something who feel threatened by your ambition and your testicle fortitude to take risks and make sacrifices to accomplish something. Because they're weak, pathetic people who don't want to see you succeed so it can comfort them and make their waste of a life feel better. You have to ignore and avoid these people at all costs. They will hold you back. 
They will try to get in your head and they will prevent you from achieving success and they will try to pull you back into their pathetic life of mediocrity. This happened too in the dog training community. I just started, you know, training my Malinois maybe a year, year and a half ago. And this particular community is just like that. A bunch of people who have identified with, created their identity around dog training. And anybody new that enters the community, the first thing they want to do is ridicule them, criticize them, tell them to do something else and try to push them out. Because they feel threatened that somebody else might come in and do better than them. So in order to protect their fragile, pathetic ego, they try to push people out and ridicule. Their attempts at taking on something new and doing good at it. My analogy is this. You give a kid a basketball, you tell him to take a shot. He misses. You don't tell him, try something new. This is not for you. Go try a different sport. Only a threatened, weak, pathetic individual would tell that to a child the first time he played a sport. There will be people in business that do this to you. You're going to fail in business. And people are going to tell you to get a job and try something new. You may get into something new like dog training and people try to push you out because they feel threatened. Because they're pathetic, weak people. It's your job to ignore that shit and keep pushing. And have what they don't have. Which is determination, courage, and confidence. Word of advice to you guys, this applies in exercise, business, life, you name it. If you're a player, play the game with other players and ignore the spectators and stay as far away from them as possible. Follow me on Instagram, J underscore underscore Vincent. Join my Patreon for science-based exercise tips and workouts. Links in the bio.